Hello everybody. Today I will show you my solid state zinc uh, my solid state high voltage zinc battery. So uh, the open voltage of this solid state battery is about 2.4 to 2.3 volts uh, but the voltage will drop on 2 volts uh, if I connect a load. So like this uh, LED. You see the LED is really really strong. The re uh, rechargeability of this battery I'm not really sure but have some potential to be recharged uh, I make this today uh, and I will test it well, if can be this battery recharged so the basic components of, uh, of uh, this battery to create this high voltage is 2 volts uh, some basic zinc batteries creates a uh, voltage of 1.5 to 1.6 volts uh, so the secret of this high voltage is in electrolytes so you have two different electrolytes some uh, the anodic electrolyte is some uh, base based electrolyte and uh, the cathodic electrolyte is some as, uh, acid based electrolyte so in this battery you have base uh, and acid type of electrolytes like you see in my uh, high voltage uh, aluminium air battery so but this one is solid state this means I have here this this is the electrolyte for uh, the negative electrode you see is very flexible this is some polymeric electrolyte for the negative uh, electrode so to make this electrolyte uh, you can see uh, the recipe to make this uh, on my patreon and also and this is the positive uh, electrolyte and is like some gel So to base uh, the base of uh, so the base to make these two electrolytes is the same. Also for this uh, for this electrolyte you can find on my Patreon in video uh, high performance electrolytes for super caps. And this one you can find on my Patreon uh, the video the, the name of video is uh, solid state battery so and the construction uh, the negative current collector is made from uh, zinc metal 
uh, on this zinc metal I put this polymer uh, electrolyte uh, the separator is um, the separator from lithium ion batteries um, and on the top I put this electrolyte on this carbon fiber so I soak uh, this acid electrolyte in this carbon fiber because this electrolyte is is jelly like uh, and the carbon fiber is really good for uh, holding this gel electrolyte in the place uh, also these two electrolytes you can also use in uh, high voltage aluminium air batteries so if you have interest to make some lit uh, I mean a zinc uh, solid state high voltage zinc batteries like this one uh, or you have some interest to make solid state high voltage aluminium air batteries so these two electrolytes you can find uh, on my patreon and yeah that's it you see how strong is this LED Oh yeah, uh, when you make this uh, electrolyte, uh, this electrolyte have also some active material for the positive side. So you can put uh, manganese dioxide and some uh, carbon black and mix all this together and then you need to only put uh, this electrolyte on this carbon fiber so this carbon fiber will soak this electrolyte and your cathode is ready for designing a battery So I will put this uh, this battery part uh, that can you see how is the design of this battery. Okay. So on the top I have this uh, graph oil for better current output but if you have only this carbon fiber is also good so like I said this carbon fiber I soak into this 
acid gel electrolyte. And it is really flexible. Uh, then I have this separator which can you find in lithium ion batteries. And on the bottom I have this polymer uh, electrolyte which is this. So I put all this part parts together. On the top I will use some graphol for better current. And you see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we see us in the next video and bye.